In this video, I want to give you an editing breakdown of my most recent video on my YouTube channel. Now, as you can see, this video is only 2 minutes and 6 seconds long. It's not a super long video, as well as you see the timeline. The timeline isn't really that complicated, but I kind of just want to give you an editing breakdown of how I went about creating this very simple yet difficult video. Now, I'll go ahead and also I'll zoom out. A little bit too I will give you a breakdown of how I uh, got this overhead shot as well as how I got these different uh, RGB shots I'll show you that in a uh, later video this is just gonna show you uh, the timeline so as you can see right here and also this is stop motion so let's start with here and before you ask what are these uh, purple things these are just the adjustment layers I made a video uh, three or four days ago discussing what these are so highly highly encourage you to go ahead and check out that video but basically what adjustment layers are is it basically just means you can put an effect a color whatever onto what however many clips it's spanning across so for example this this uh, adjustment layer is actually supposed to be connected to this one uh, but I just cut it off when I needed to make the uh, Instagram story but as you can see Right here in this adjustment layer, this is for the color correction. So if you didn't know, these clips were actually like shot, I think it like in one aperture like higher. This is like an aperture two or, or aperture three maybe. And this was shot at aperture four. So the light difference is incredibly in uh, a big difference. So what I did was I headed over to the highlights and I just dragged the highlights down a little bit. Also, I also just went over here and I added a little bit of temperature so you could add a little bit of temperature here. But for the most part, the first adjustment layer was just about bringing down the highlights. Now, this adjustment layer, like I said before, is also connected to this one. So if we command minus, this adjustment layer is also connected to this one. And I'll just show you the color wheel. I brought up the highlights a little bit brought up the shadows just a little bit and then I actually brought the temperature a little bit down the initial temperature was like uh, I think like 5500 but I brought it down to make it actually look cooler because whatever I did it just looked incredibly uh, warm um, a couple of things that I did so that was just the adjustment layer for that video and as you can see here are just um, go down a little bit try to find uh, the different clips here they are so here are the clips I just recorded the clips put them all together and cut them just kind of have like a simple jump cut I'll do a tutorial on jump cuts in the future but that's basically what this just is just an adjustment layer this one brought down the highlights because the first two clips were too dark and this adjustment layer is connected with this one it just made sure that here are just uh, the colors temperature and highlights just to make sure the colors all across the board look very similar I believe I messed with the color curve a little bit yeah I think I brought the blue down just a little bit just so it would be a little cooler and then this adjustment layer right here is just all these RGB uh, clips because they're all shot the same aperture the same ISO and everything like that a couple of things I did was I just put the adjustment layer up over here as you can see I had to crank the highlights up because I was starting to lose a lot of data you know anytime you see videos and you see like weird spots on your videos it's because you're losing data I'll head over to the window the workspace and color effects go over to here view I'm gonna do a more detailed video on how to do this but as you can see here is a zero line you have to make sure that nothing is below zero or else you'll start losing data so I brought the highlights all the way up then I actually bring the master uh, a lot higher just because the entire video was incredibly dark and yeah I also believe I brought the temperature up to 5600 this had to be a lot warmer especially because of this red light or else it would look really really weird this one was a lot cooler just because it looked a lot better especially there were like white objects like this when you have a white object and you bring it and you make the video have a really warm look it re looks really really ugly so let's go ahead and press command plus and as you can see here are just every single photo of stop motion I'll head over to workspace head back over to default and here are all the different photos they're all raw photos so I just put them all together 
I'll do a, fur a further detail on how I uh, went about editing the stop motion, but I believe it was a like command D and then I just pressed whichever frame. So I think it was, I think I had these all on um, set on two or three frames, but again, I'll do a more detailed tutorial on how to film stop motion. Right here, just have a black background with a text saying created by Joshua Winkins, which if you haven't figured out by now, that's my name. And also right here, I just put a little end screen. This is kind of like my classic thing that I always do. Have this cool little end screen, and then I just had music. I faded it out like you're supposed to. And then the other side, I faded it in. Here is the name of the song. You can go ahead and zoom in or take a screenshot. Uh, it's from Epidemic Sound. I believe it's called From the Cliffside. It's from Epidemic Sound. All the music I have is from Epidemic Sound. A couple of things I did in terms of music was I went over to here and turned the volume down to negative, I think this is five or six decibels. It's too far away for I can't say, but I think it says negative six decibels or negative five. I can't say it. But anyways, I just brought that down so as you can see, there's no uh, little yellow spots. It just shows that the video is not peaking for like, if you're listening on like an iMac or a really expensive speaker or headphones, you're not gonna notice it. But if you're watching on an iPhone, the audio is gonna start clipping. It's starting gonna start to sound really, really ugly. But without further ado, hopefully you enjoyed that video or enjoy this video and also enjoyed uh, this video. Highly encourage you to go ahead and check it out. I'll link it, link it in this video in the annotated cards. Hopefully you enjoyed this editing breakdown. I'll see you guys in another video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That'd be greatly appreciated. See you guys in the next one. Peace.